Alright, situation 3. A solid shaft having a diameter of 50 millimeters is bent into a circular arc with radius um, 0 0.8 meters. Ayan. Central angle is 60 degrees. That's the value of theta. Then, the shaft is fixed at A and supports a vertical load P 5 kN at end B. Neglect weight of the shaft. So, how much is the maximum normal shear stress in the shaft? How much is the maxim, uh, maximum torsional shear stress in shaft? And a uh, third question is the maximum flexural stress in the shaft. So, ano ba yung nagkakos ng maximum shear stress? Uh, I mean, maximum stresses dito. So, una, uh, for the normal stress, maximum normal shear stress. The term here is normal shear stress. Yung ibig sabihin niya dito pag normal shear stress is yung BQ over IT. Alright? Basta meron ng involve na bending, ito yung shear stress natin. Iba yung direct shear, direct shear natin na um, just V over shearing area. We call this direct shear, basta walang bending. Okay? Basta merong bending, then ito yung exact uh, shear stress natin. Alright, for the normal shear stress, so kailangan natin makuha yung maximum shear. Maximum shear force. Now, for this figure, at any point on this shaft, equal lang yung ating shear, uh, shear force. Now, kasi kahit ikat natin yan dito sa measure of forces vertical, it is just equal to uh, to the value P red. Okay? At dito na lang natin tingnan uh, at the fixed support. Again, it doesn't matter kahit saan dito for the value of shear. So, at that cross section, of course, uh, circular yung section natin. Diameter, by the way, is 50 millimeters. So, by action-reaction, dito yung ating maximum shear. I mean, yung shear force natin. Yeah? So, vertical ito, downward. Then, reaction natin that, it, that will give us the, uh, the shear force at point A or at the fixed port. Okay? So, ito yung magagamit natin for the normal shear stress. Now, for the... Torsional shear stress naman, maximum torsional shear stress. So, yung maximum uh, torsion natin will happen at the fixed port. Okay? So, ito yung ating uh, axis, no? torsional axis of this cross-section. So, pag sinabing torsional shear stress, then it is caused by a torsional moment. And the torsional moment is parallel to the uh, cross-section. Ito yung ating torsional moment. So, meron kang P dito. It is eccentric about its uh, uh, centroid. Ito yung distance siya. So, yung reaction torsion dito will be like this. Kasi yung maidudulot nito about this axis is, is ito. So, reaction yan at the peak support. Torsion. Action reaction. So, ito yung magagamit natin for the torsional shear stress. And for the maximum flexural shear stress naman, uh, it will involve moment. Bending moment this time. Ano yung kaibahan ng bending moment and torsional moment? Yung torsional moment natin, the, the moment is parallel to the cross-section. While the bending moment, the moment is perpendicular to the cross-section. And ito yung bending axis of this cross-section at the peak support. So, dito yung moment natin. Moment reaction. Bakit sa peak support, sir? Kasi, uh, mas mahaba yung distance natin from the point of the application of the load, then mas manaki yung moment. So, magiging maximum yung ating torsional moment and uh, bending moment natin. Okay? So, let's start with calculating the value of B. So, there's no problem with that. Summation of forces vertical equal to zero. So, yung uh, shear force at the fix is just equal to the load P. And that is 5 kN. It is given on the problem. So, maximum normal shear stress, again, yung ibig niya sabihin dyan, is VQ over IP. Now, for circular pole, di ko na lang siya ginawang subscript na maximum, ha? understandable niya. So, for circular pole, yung maximum shear stress is 4B over 3 pi R squared. Derived formula ito. Okay? Derived formula from this. Uh, ito yung ating general formula. Any cross-section will do. This one is only for solid circular cross-section. So, substituting the values, 
Yung V natin, ginawa nating newtons, 5,000 newtons. 3 pi, R squared. Yung R dyan, take note, that is the radius of the cross section, not the radius given as 0 0.8. Alright, the radius of the cross section is half of its diameter. Diameter is 50, means radius is 50 over 2 squared. So the answer is 3.4 megapascal. Okay, maximum torsional shear stress will calculate the torsion. So paano ba kunin yung torsion? Dito, ano, kailangan yung imagination sa moment arm. Yung moment arm lang yung magiging uh, problema dito pag hindi mo siya ma-imagine ng tama. Alright, tingnan natin dito. Dapat alam natin yung uh, eccentricity ni P about this axis. Okay? Alright, so separate ko to. Tingnan nyo. I will try to rotate that one in this view. Yan. Ha, klaro yan ha. Naka 3D pa yan. Ito, i-rotate ko siya into this view. Nakatingin tayo sa front view niya. Itong cross-section na yan, ito yan. At A. Okay, the torsional uh, reaction is parallel to that uh, cross-section. So, yan yung torso natin. Pagdala natin muna tingnan yung bending moment and shear, uh, shear force. Focus tayo sa torsion. So, what will cause this torsion? That is P multiplied by its eccentricity about the centroid. Ito yung kailangan natin ng moment R. So, take note, ito naman, kung nakatap view yan, ito yung R natin, theta, and this is R. This is R length. Okay, yung E na yan, yung E na yan is yung distance from here to that axis. Yung axis na yan, ito, yung axis na to, naging tuldok na lang dito. Uh, naging isang point na lang siya in this view. That means that E, referred from this axis, yung axis natin is ito, ito yung E natin. Da? Grabe pa naman pag hindi pa ito ma-imagine. So, uh, yung challenge lang how to solve for E. Alright, so, kung ikat ko yan dito, that one, tawagin ko na lang tong distance x. The value of E is equal to R, same R here, minus etong distance na yan. Okay? So, E is equal to R, which is 0 0.8. Define that distance. What is that distance? Considering this triangle, it is a right triangle. That one is the adjacent side of the angle theta. That means, this part here is R cosine of theta. So, isubtract natin yan dito sa R. That will give us the E. Again, R 0 0.8. This one is R cosine theta. Tinanggal natin yan, kuha natin yung eccentricity. So you have your 0 0.4 meters. So we can now define the torsion. The torsion uh, is equal to P times E, the torsional moment. So P natin is 5 kilonewtons, E 0 0.4 meters. You will have here 2 kilonewton meters. And the maximum torsional shear stress, tawagin ko na lang FBT, Ito yung formula for circular section, TR over G. So, derived formula ito, again, for circular cross-section, 16T pi D cube. Solid ha, solid cross-section. Pag hollow na siya, uh, it is different. Okay, yung torsional moment, gawin natin Newton millimeters times 10 raised to 6, divided by pi times diameter of the shaft, which is 50, then raised to 3. The answer is 81.5 megapascal. Okay, pangatlong tanong is um, yung moment. Magkakos ng flexural stress is yung bending moment. So, paano naman natin kunin yung bending moment? What is the moment arm? Take note, its moment arm from this axis is ito. Yan. Okay, i-rotate ko tong ating view na yan in this uh, side. Okay? Again, nirotate ko yan, ha? Ito. Yan. So, yung bending moment is ito. At the fixed support. We need to calculate this moment arm and that is actually the value of X. Bakit X yan, sir? Pag may nawawala pa rin dito, no? Again, 
perpendicular. Yan. Distance yan is the value of x. So, p times x, that defines the moment. That is p times x. So, solving for x first, the same triangle here, x is r sine theta. R is 0 0.8 sine of 60. You have here 0 0.693. So the bending moment is P times X. P times X. P is 5 kilonewtons. X is 0 0.693. That will give us this value in kilonewton meters. And the maximum bending stress, tawagin ko na lang siyang FB, MC over I. So moment, gawin natin newton millimeters. Yung C natin is kalahati ng cross-section, ha? Okay, ito yung ating uh, axis of bending, farthest distance. So, that is just half of the diameter. 50 over 2. Then, inertia for a solid circular section is pi over 64, diameter raised to 4. So, the answer is 282.35 megapascal. 